thieving opportunist has stolen a van of my latest publication hot off the press. But that spanked up idiot has left the rear doors open, and now my beautifully produced, tastefully photographed adult literature is being dropped all over Liberty. Take the van and follow that trail of Donkey Does Dallas volumes 1, 2, and 3, collecting it as you go. When you follow the trail to that thieving spank head, waste him. Then deliver my donkey derby to Triple X Max in the red light district. You are listening to the Fat Lady Sings on Double Clef F. West, going out across the city. All right, let's go over. Are you the look at the golf and climb being dropped in Portland area? Are you sane? Are you a sane caller? Absolutely, Lazo. Killer bees. King killer bees. Yes, killer bees. Did you know that if the current migration north continues, we will all be dead in three years? Did you want to become a bee stepper? I don't. That's why we must act now. Killer bees must be stopped. I wonder why more people are talking about this. I mean, killer bees swarming, and it sounds pretty serious. Ah. But the killer bees are nothing compared to ants. You can't kill them. They're like sheep. They're going to take over. All right, thanks, caller. Ants, killer bees, fat people, what's plaguing you? Call now. Chatterbox, hello, you're on the air. Uh, yes. I'd like to say something about these damn people on trains and buses in the city. Yammer on and on and cell phones. I'm really glad to get to hear about what you're having for dinner. What we should do is herd them up and put them on an island. I am the president of a group called Citizens Raging Against the Phone. Crap? Exactly. Your organization's called crap. What, what kind of moron are you? You want to round people up for using a phone? But you're, you're calling up on a phone to, to tell the world about it. I mean, but how many people are there in this crap? Citizens are raging against phones, Laszlo. How many people? There are three of us. It's hard organizing meetings without the phone, though. We've had to resort to carrier pigeons, and they keep disappearing. What are you speaking to me on? What's it, what's that in your hand? I am not the problem. You are, and you're perpetuating the downfall of mankind. Okay. Okay. Liberty City was great before phones ruined everything. Liberty City was a church, a cow pasture, and three houses when the telephone was invented. Liar! You're the liar. Liar, liar, pants on fire. What are you? Are you, are you three years old? Lazo's a liar. Lazo's a liar. I bet that isn't even your real name. Shut up. You shut up. Stupid. Nanny, nanny. Boo-boo. Stick your head Oh, we're going to commercials. Is your job affecting your health? Do you become fatigued? Does working take time away from family and social events like watching wrestling? There's an easy solution. Sue your boss. See, the great thing about this country is you can sue anyone for pretty much anything, and you'll probably win, or at least get a settlement. At the firm of Rakin and Ponser Personal Injury Attorneys, we can show you how falling down and howling like a sissy can result in a large damage award from your employer. We also specialize in awards for injuries suffered in auto, bus, and train accidents, and can even train you to throw yourself in front of a bus and pretend to be injured. Hey, that's why they pay for insurance. Call the law offices of Rakin and Ponser and get ready to enjoy a life of luxury. All right, we're back on Chatterbox. Let's uh, go to the chatter line here. Hello, caller. You're on Chatterbox. Laszlo, I just wanted to make your viewers aware that okay, now, this is a radio show. We don't have viewers. We have listeners. Uh, okay. Anyway, Laszlo, I just wanted to make your viewers aware the first international puppetry festival is next month at the fairgrounds, bro. If you're interested in becoming a puppet master or a ventriloquist, you should definitely come down, dude. It's going to be totally killer. <laughs> I wasn't aware that there was much demand for puppet shows these days. And- oh, man. Have you been living under a rock, bro? Guys with puppets get chicks. I take my monkey puppet to the park all the time. We play hacky sack together, it's rad. But anyway, dude, at the International Puppetry Festival, we'll be having workshops on finger puppets, too. I love Petunia the Pinky, meet Barry the Thumb. String puppets, club puppets, dude, it's gonna rock. (laughs) Okay, thanks. Hope to see you there, Laswell. Hey, by the way, can you give me that guy Fernando's number? Nah, I'm sorry. Fernando hasn't paid his bill to our ad sales department. But here's someone who has. And they paid us in stacks of old groats and gold guineas. We'll be back after this. Do you live in the boring suburbs but dream of living in a lonely castle on a windswept moor? Do you long to trade in your sweatsuit for a hundred pound suit of armor and swap your SUV for a noble stallion? You got any friends? Traveling minstrels, nice. 
Knights and Maidens oh so fair are ready to delight you with tales of the Black Death, witch burnings, and the joys of being a feudal serf. Forget about air conditioning and modern medicine. We've got all the leeches, spells, and potions you need at the Medieval Millennium Fair. Learn the art of cooking with turnips. Yum yum. Buy genuine reproduction medieval artifacts including maces, double-handed battle swords, and one-size-fits-all chain mail. And this weekend only, pick up an authentic mechanical Lady of the Lake in Excalibur. It's perfect for your garden pond or swimming pool. And learn how to rid your condo of vermin.